thank you. The wine is wonderful. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> hey, this is a French restaurant. Should all the servers be French? Je ne suis pas français, mais je peux parler français si vous préférez. Uh, where is the nearest subway station? Huh. Another bottle, sir? Absolutely. Anyway, the chalet in Killington had this open floor plan, sort of the way Rory's apartment's laid out. Uh, I've never exactly seen Rory's apartment. Oh, yeah? We mostly just hang at the paper, and mostly at the paper. Well, anyway, I really want to rent a place at a ski resort this winter, maybe Killington or Sugarloaf. That sounds great. You know what? You should come. Totally. Well, uh, we'll get all of Rory's friends together for a long weekend, ski, hang out. It'll be a blast. A ski trip sounds awesome. Who's going skiing? You are, this winter. Everyone's invited. Right on. You don't hang out with any of these people outside the paper, do you? Not so much. Mm. OK, who wants dessert? I'd love a creme brulee. I've never had creme brulee. I could do with a cognac. I wouldn't say no to a digestif. Creme brulee for me, and a cognac. You know what? I think we'd like to get creme brulee and cognac all around. Sorry, his parents. Why sorry? Sorry, this lunch is weird. No. Sorry. OK, this lunch is weird. <gasps> I feel like we're those lame parents of yours. Dad is trying kind of hard. Yeah, I think any minute he's going to start juggling plates. And hanging spoons off his nose. Yeah, but it's sweet. So seriously, whenever you guys get a three-day weekend, you should totally come up. Can we rent skis there? Sure, I can lend you a pair. We'll have you jump in Mogul's Dental Black Diamond in no time, Raj. I guess it's good that I experienced a little bit of lame old parenting. I mean, after all, it's part of the quintessential college experience, isn't it? I guess. And it's great that you got to meet the whole gang before a big ski vacation together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, good, or uh-oh, bad. I guess there isn't really an uh-oh, good, is there? Um, listen up, guys. Uh, a bunch of students that were protesting the war took over President Stewart's office. It looks like we're gonna have to rework the whole edition. Why can't the news stop while we're eating? I know, it's so impolite. I just got a text with a photo. It looks like they're wearing George Bush masks and... Are those Condoleezza Rice masks? They make Condoleezza masks? We've got to get on this, everybody. Um, so you guys, I'm sorry. It looks like it's we okay, have to... go. Duty calls. OK. Sheila, get Keith on the phone and see if you can get him down there. Actually, get Samantha down there, too. I want so many photos of this thing, I can make a flip book. Bill and AK, get back to the office so you can proof the stories we're emailing it in. Everyone else here with me. But what about the creme brulee? And our cognac? I have yet to taste the sweet nectar of creme brulee. This is going to be our front page. Front page? Really? I think the front page is fine as it is. Paris, come on. We all know these rabble-rousers are just looking for attention. Why indulge them? Let's go. I want to go. I want to report this story. I just want to do it after I eat my creme brulee. I mean, what if tonight I get hit by lightning and die a creme brulee virgin? A creme brulee virgin? You know what? Enough. This is a major political protest. It's a big story, and it's going to go on our front page. Now get your junk creme brulee craving asses out of these chairs, and let's get to work. OK, besides the lead, I'm going to need some color. What's going on behind the mask? That kind of thing. Joni, you want to take a crack at that? I'm a little tipsy. OK, is there anyone here who's not a little tipsy? Thanks for lunch, Dad. Thanks so much. Thank you. Lunch is great. Great meeting you. Man, we'll see you later. I'm on my cognac. I can't believe we have to go back to work. Well, <clears throat> I hope you're hungry for some creme brulee.